You guys will literally do anything other than go outside and train to make yourself a better player. No proper academy process, pay to play, essentially making soccer a rich kid sport. MLS being a certified money first retirement league. I don't even get the retirement league part here because that's kind of irrelevant. Just sounds like you're spouting off random anti-MLS talking points. But let's hypothetically say you're 100% correct. We'll just ignore that MLS does have academies, that they're free. We'll ignore that middle and high schools all have soccer teams now, which are free for students. We'll ignore that there are affordable youth soccer clubs. And these clubs almost all have scholarship programs for people who can't afford the fees. The number one thing that you aren't doing that will prevent you from becoming a professional player is you're not working hard enough to make yourself as good as you can be. So here's the thing. Even if you're 100% right, you cannot control the system. We're not powerful enough to change that. The only thing we can control is ourselves. And the best thing you can do is to work as hard as you can to become the best player you can be. And to do that, you have to get out here and train. There is just no other way to do it. And that means training on days like this, in the snow. That means training when your friends don't want you. If you just decide the system's corrupt and that you have no chance to play, you are guaranteeing you will never play professional soccer. But if you make the most of your situation and you try, even if it's difficult, you're giving yourself a shot that other people simply won't have. So which one are you gonna do? Are you gonna pout about how it's unfair? Or are you gonna get your butt to the field and actually make yourself the best player you can be?